Hey book lovers, I'm Elise and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I believe it was about six months ago. I saw a booktuber create this challenge and it looked so fun and I really wanted to participate. Now that I have a booktube, I'm going to participate. It is the book cover telephone tag challenge created by Elizabeth over at Reading Riley. Now the idea behind this is similar to the children's game of telephone. You know how when you you know, whisper something in somebody's ear and they whisper it in that person's ear and down the line it goes until we get to the final person. So what Elizabeth has done is created this tag similar to that game. So based purely off of the covers of different books, we're going to start with one book and make nine pairings to get us to a tenth and final book. But first, coffee. The book that I'm going to be starting with is The Secret History by Donna Tart. It's been on my TBR for a very long time, <laughs> and I do hope to get to it one day, but we shall see. It's a dark academia mystery, and that's really all I know about it. And to be honest, that's all I want to know, because sometimes I just like going into books blind. And due to the classical statue on the cover of The Secret History, that brings us to The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. This is another book that I don't know too much about, on my TBR, I've not read it yet. Um, I do know that there's a secret society called the Maidens at Cambridge University. I think they're like a fan group of one of the professors who another student thinks is a murderer. I don't know. So on the cover of the Maidens, the statue's face, she has her eyes covered which reminded me of the cover of Hamnet by Mary O'Farrell. Hamnet is another book that is still on my TBR, have not read it yet. It is a historical fiction that takes place in the 1500s and involves the play Hamlet by Shakespeare. The boy on the cover of Hamnet is wearing a hat, which reminded me of the cover of Outlawed by Anna North. This is another historical fiction that takes place in the 1800s. I have read this one. I read it last year and I did give it, no, I read it this year. I read it earlier this year, like January or February. I did give it four stars. I thought it was fantastic. This book follows Ada, who is 17 years old. She gets married and after a year of marriage, she was not able to get pregnant. And unfortunately at this time, women who are barren are accused of being a witch. So Ada is exiled from her town and she comes across the Hole in the Wall gang in Wyoming, which is basically a group of misfits who steal to survive and are living in the wilderness to avoid being killed or arrested for things that they've done in their hometowns. On the cover of Outlawed, we see a silhouette of a woman created kind of out of negative space, which really reminded me of Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. This one is another historical fiction. Clearly, I love historical fiction. <laughs> it takes place in the 60s and has to do with science. Um, again, I don't know much about this one. I have not read it. In the glasses of the woman on the cover of Lessons in Chemistry, we see some beakers and other scientific equipment, which reminded me a lot of the cover of The Love Hypothesis by Ellie Hazelwood. This one I have definitely read. I read it over the summer. I gave it five stars. Absolutely loved it. In case you don't know, it follows Olive. Olive and Dr. Adam Carlson at Stanford University. I think it's Stanford University. Let me double check. It's Stanford. It's a fake dating trope in order to basically trick her best friend into thinking that she is over her ex, who her best friend wants to be with, and Olive's completely supportive of that. Olive decides to randomly kiss a guy in the hallway, and it turns out to be this professor. On the cover of The Love Hypothesis, we do see a couple embracing and a passionate kiss. Well, maybe not passionate. Adam looks a little surprised, but either way, there's a couple kissing on the cover, which reminds me of the cover of The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I have read this book and I rated it four stars. This book follows Stella Lane. She is a super smart, successful, career-driven woman, but she does have Asperger's and she hasn't had much experience dating. So she decides that she needs to get some practice in and actually hires an escort, Michael Fan. So Stella creates this lesson plan for herself on how to get from inexperienced to experienced so that she can get her family off her back and find someone and settle down. And of course, along the way, 
I mean, it's a romance. Stella and Michael fall in love. The yellow font on the cover of The Kiss Quotient reminded me a lot of The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I did also read this one. I rated it four and a half stars. And this one follows Casey. She's kind of a... I guess I don't I don't know if she's retired or just out of work or but she was an actress and she needs to get away. She spent some time at her family's house on the lake. This new couple moves into the house across the lake from her and of course she's sitting there drinking all day long, spying on the neighbors and she hears a scream and she suspects that perhaps the husband killed the wife. So she takes it upon herself to investigate and the book gets pretty crazy. I did not see coming what came. <laughs> you know, I always think that I'm plenty organized before I start a video and then I sit down to film and I realize that was a snowplow. So on the cover of The House Across the Lake, there's a dark house, but the windows are illuminated, which reminded me of the cover of Swashbucklers by Dan Hanks. This book, oh my gosh. I actually received this book from The Book Drop late last year. Actually, it was the last book that I had read in 2021, and I rated it five stars. It is a horror science fiction. It does take place around Christmas time, and it blew my mind. The main character's name is Cisco, and he returns to his hometown. We see him like running into his old friends at various places around town. Basically what had happened was 30 years prior, this evil creature, evil entity, whatever, attacked the town around Halloween. And Cisco and his friends, they kind of banded together and they used, their weapons were like video game consoles or something crazy like that. Like, I don't remember specifically, but they had to fight off this evil existence. And, and they succeeded. But once all was said and done, you know, the whole town is, is damaged, but nobody remembers what actually happened except for Cisco. News reporters and everything, they're talking about this destruction that happened across the town, um, but they're blaming it on something else. And I, I don't remember what that is. So anyways, 30 years later, the evil that they had fought off before has somehow come back. And there's a talking fox in this, which is fantastic. She's like the sidekick that kind of connects them to, you know, to the other side. Um, it's very like Ghostbusters meets Stranger Things, but make it Christmas. It's fantastic. On the cover is Swashbucklers. There is The Black Fox, which reminded me of the fox on the cover of The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. This is a very beloved now trilogy. I don't know if there's going to be a fourth. I think I've heard there is. I honestly have no idea. I do have the first and second in paperback. Um, I haven't read them yet. I think I will be reading this one in December. Spoiler for my December TBR. There we have it. We got from The Secret History by Donna Tartt all the way to The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Now I get to tag some people to do this challenge as well. The people that I have tagged, I did look at their videos. I'm fairly certain none of them have already done this challenge. If you have, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I will be tagging Rachel over at A Library Fairy, Jordan over at Bookish Gem, Jordan over at Sorry Book Solid and Keisha over at A Book Like You. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was really fun. I love challenges like this. If I didn't tag you specifically and you see this, join in, do it anyways consider yourself tagged. If you would be so kind as to like and subscribe, that would definitely put a smile on my face. And until next time, bye.